Hi, I'm Donnie of Donnie's Doors, and I'm going to show you how to measure a screen door opening. This is the screen door opening we're going to measure, and what you can see here is, this is the jam right here. This is the edge of the jam that the door stops on. This is the casing. So, between this casing and this casing over here is your screen door opening. This door is, this is going to be the latch side, so the door will, will hit up against this jam as the stop. It's always important to make sure the door is going to clear this piece of hardware right here, which is going to be fine in this situation. The door will be hinged on this other side. Now, we're going to start by measuring the width of the door opening. We do that in three areas. We do that in the top. So we hold it up against, up against this casing. Hold it up against the casing. Then on the other end, you can see this one is measuring the opening is 35 and 15 sixteenths. So I'm going to write that down, 35 and 15 sixteenths. And then I'm going to go to the middle of the door, hold it up against my casing again on the hinge side, and go over to the latch side. This again is 35 and 15 sixteenths. It's the same in this house. Oftentimes it's different. And then we're going to go down. Oh, this one's about 36 right here. I'm going to still call this 35 and 15 sixteenths even because it will it will uh, it will be within tolerances and make installation easier and, and building the door easier. It's just the uh, within parameters. Okay, so. I'm just going to write down, here's the shape of my door, I have, so since they were all very close, very close, I'm going to call it 35 and 15 sixteenths. This down here was a little wider, maybe a sixteenth, that, that won't matter. Now I'm going to measure for the height. On the hinge side of the door, I'm going to place the tape measure. Again, this is your jam. This is what the door is going to stop against. This is the casing. I'm going to push the tape measure down like that. So it's within the space where the door will be. And I'm going to run the tape right up through, just like it is. And I'm going to measure to the top. This right here is 80 and 5 sixteenths. Now I'm going to measure the other side. Same way, place, this, place it within the screen door opening. I'm going to measure up through to the top. This is 80 and a quarter. And that gives me the screen door opening. So it's a little different from one side to the other. That is not uncommon. So I'm going to write down on my paper. This side was 80 and 5 sixteenths. This size was 80 and a quarter. What I'm, what I'm going to do, I'm going to write down 80 and 5 sixteenths over here because I'm going to go with the bigger measurement of the two. Now, when I make my door, I'm going to make it 3 sixteenths smaller than this measurement. And this measurement right here, I'm going to make it that size. And in that way, it can be fit. If the 
in case the top is is off kilter, which it is often is in an older house, the door will be able to fit top and bottom. And if the sill is off kilter again, or even coved in lots of times, and an old stone sill or a wood sill, it's coved in, I'm going to make it just that width so there's room for scribing it to fit. And also, if you, if you can see that your, your casings are really warped and crooked, you may specify, make it a little wider. This one is fine. So, my screen door opening for, for this door is 35 and 15 sixteenths by 80 and 5 sixteenths. That's a screen door opening. And I will make my door, as I say, 3 sixteenths, 3 sixteenths narrower and the same height. So that is how you measure a screen door opening.